Hello there, here I am and I'm ready to do my build, my computer build. And first things first, get comfortable and put my anti-static. You can also wire it to your PSU, plug it in, you know, but don't switch it on. But my PSU is still in my old computer, so I don't want to like take that apart just now. You gotta earth yourself. I've connected myself to a radiator and I'm hoping that that is grounded because if it's connected to anything else that's worrying <laughs> so okay first of all this thing wanna just take the, the motherboard part out of it and So that's the screws. Um, could do with a screw dish. I'm gonna keep these screws away. This is my tin of random screws that I find around. <laughs> Get these screws. It's also this, this, and that that I need to undo. So take the motherboard tray out. <laughs> Damn, these are tight. I don't want to ruin that screw. This one's fine. This one's playing, playing nice. Inside, it's just the other ones. No, it's just this one. Someone's obviously, you know, used a freaking wrench to to screw this in. Get yeah. Okay, got it. Got it. Right. So. Now that I can take the motherboard part out, hopefully, yes, the motherboard right here. So this part, so this is where the PCIe goes, okay, I'm just planning this for myself. Excuse me, I'm not <clears throat> very good at commentary or talking, I'm, I'm a person who is <laughs> much better at uh, listening than talking, so excuse me if I'm, I'm not very good at this. Let's get this away. Move it out of the way. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, now the motherboard. Maximus V2 Genie. I mean, I'm not a gamer. I'm gonna use this for editing and stuff, but hey, the game doesn't hurt every now and then. I'm more of a retro gamer, so I'm more like. Um, more of an emulation person. I like the old style retro games, but this. I couldn't resist this. It looks really nice. So this kind of is gonna be a bit of a bonus video. It's gonna be an unboxing of many things as well as a ooh, this looks good. Okay, I'll stop ogling it and just build it. <laughs> okay, hold on. To my knowledge, um to my knowledge, the best place to the best anti-static place to build this is on top of the its own box. So that's what I will do. This is heavy. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Let's take all the stuff out of the box first, so we don't forget anything. Because on my, <laughs> I once, 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 only once, I forgot to put this thing in, and I installed the motherboard, and I saw this afterwards. I was just like, ah. Oh. Okay. This is the audio board. I believe the external audio one, which I will not be using because I have a nice external audio card that I use for my editing. SAD cables, three of them, that's good. Um, SL library, which I'll not be using. Instruction manual, does have anything? Oh, cool, that's good. I remember this. The labels for the SAD. And the cables is yeah SAD cables. I'll use them. Might as well. That's the motherboard drivers. Even though I'm sure they have new ones on their website. Okay. Instruction manual. The smell of new books. Okay. European warranty. Okay. Fantastic. Oh yeah, so I remember this. For the, for the gamers to kind of, you know, put on their door. <laughs> Do not disturb. 
champion in action. Thank you, Essos. I'm so far impressed, visually impressed with your quality. Um, now then, let's mount this thing then. Okay, what I will need is the screws in here. So I believe that's right. Yes. Okay. So, okay, so this was the PCIe. So it's in this direction. That's good. Freaking heck, that's like heavy already. I mean, it's not heavy, I can lift it, but for a motherboard, it's the heaviest one I've dealt with. Um, okay, for this side anyway. Right, let's get the motherboard screws. Where are your motherboard screws? In here somewhere. This came with the case, the actual the computer case. I will edit this out. The rest of all this screwing and <laughs> because it's tedious. thing I have here is my camera because I am a photographer and I'm obsessed with taking photographs of everything. So, excuse the flushing. I need to put a water, I need to install a water cooler in this. So. I will need the access to that. I got an Intel i7 4790, um, 1150 socket. It's got hyper threading. It's just what I need actually. For, because I do a lot of audio editing, video editing, photo editing. So, okay, so you have that. So, got a lot of boxes. <laughs> Okay, so this is stock cooler, which I'm not going to use, and the processor, this little thing. You only get to see this once, but once before you actually put it in. So hey, why not make a moment out of it and take a photograph of it? It's photography time. And I'm going to hurry up because the edges are digging into my fingers. Okay, now that I've taken a nice photograph of this, I'm going to install it. I always take this plastic bit off because it just confuses me and makes me nervous. Okay, you can only install this one way. There's many things that ensure that. There's a notch, notches at the side, and there's that in the corner. Like that. But even though there is only one way of installing this, I hate that slight crunchy sound. <laughs> I can even see I'm paranoid. I hate that crunchy sound which you get when when it's been pressed in. Oh I so I hate that crunchy sound. I hate you. Now we install the RAM. Unboxing of the RAM. Hyper Fury 16 gig here, so there you go. These are gorgeous. I've got a thing for two colors. Kind of <coughs> the tealish ocean blue, ocean blue, and this deep red. I love it. I don't like the orangey red, but this this deep red, I love it. You install this alternating in the red slots first. Anyone for pizza? Fancy pizza. Installing it in this one is slightly different because it's only got clips on one side, not two sides. Okay. No, it's in properly. 
see, I should always go with my senses. Because they tend to be right. My my intuition, it never lies to me. Okay, that feels good. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna stop ogling the ram and continue. Okay, what else can I install on here? That's about it. I'm gonna take another picture of it. <laughs> because it's... It's a work of art, come on. For me, to me this is a work of art. Okay, I forgot about my tea, it's very getting cold right now. Now we need the case. Okay, so let's put this there. We need you, so you come here. I'm gonna have fun installing this freaking this uh, this closed loop water cooling system because it's kind of kind of nervous about it to be honest. This is one thing which is strange. I noticed that even though I was told that you can take this out, install everything outside, and then put it back in, there's one screw like this screw. There's one underneath here that I cannot reach. I cannot actually get to it. To um, screw it down. I suppose I can get away with kind of not screwing that one because I'm gonna have to take the entire motherboard out again because I've got three screws at the back too which are helping me. So okay, complicated. <laughs> let's let's just um, start. I'll just be here all night. And I want to get this installed nicely. Take my time. Those three screws at the back. <coughs> Those three screws at the back. No! No! Yes, yes, I know! I know! <laughs> I forgot the freaking... <laughs> oh my... Oh my god, thank god! Almost did it again. This is what happens when you worry about something too much. You end up doing it. What ends up happening? And this is this is exactly how. I almost forgot. It's nice and cushiony, actually. It's well built. Oh, the audio card can just go there, but I'm not gonna have onboard audio. Even though the onboard audio I've heard on this is extremely good. And okay, everything feels more stable now. Now it's gonna be the time when I need to kind of take my <coughs> bring my old case here and undo that and take the power supply out of that. The rest of it I'm gonna eBay it because I need to kind of get back some of the car. It's not strong. Why are you not strong? You're the troublesome screw. It's always one who has trouble and it has to be you. Okay, then everything is fine and sturdy. I need to cut myself. What the heck? I need to cut myself on pins on the motherboard. Okay. Everything is good. Fantastic. Okay. That's good. Let's keep the thumb screw thumb screws here. Go here. You know what? I have I have a spare one of these lying around that I took out of a laptop because I replaced it with an SSD uh, using it in the laptop using it. So I'm just gonna install that go ahead and install that why not might as well i've got it it's there let's just do it <laughs> okay. 
The one troublesome screw. There's always one who is trouble, and it's this one. Oh, it's gotta be one. I'm sorry that this is just like a one-dimensional view, because unfortunately I do not have a cameraman. It's just me doing everything. <laughs> so, bear with that. <laughs> Good. Done. Install as well. Oh, it's these. It's these. Yes, it's these. Clearly, I'm not going to use this that much, but it's always nice that it's in there. I don't use DVD drives too much. Just every now and then, I have some backups and stuff. But okay, so. S A T A I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this is actually going to be a Hackintosh PC. Or it's gonna be a dual boot Windows Hackintosh Hackintosh Windows. <coughs> this is the previous one which I had. Mini ITX, of course. The reason why is because I wanted a really small one. I was until I started building this, I was so used to having a laptop because I had, you know, my MacBook for um, many years. Since 2007 I've had it. Okay, so this dude used to live under my bed and I needed to buy one which fit under my bed. Until I decided, okay, I need a more powerful system and da 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 and things, you know, you start wanting different things. So this is an amazing build for what it's got in there. It's dust. I hate dust. I'm still gonna use the PSU, but sell everything else. Okay, so I'll give you a different angle on viewing as well. The same first one angle must get a little boring. <laughs> right, so you have I've taken this out and it's easy. That's where these things are. That those LED strips which no longer work. Yeah, why I put LED strips in here? I have no idea. <laughs> I just don't have a clue why I did that. I was just so desperately wanting it to be fancy or something. I hate disassembling. I like building, but I hate disassembling <laughs> systems. It's just. Our main power block is out. Okay, <clears throat> in this case I received this only room for one hard drive and one SSD drive. Okay. All my gorgeous valuable stuff on this. And you may ask, did you back it up? Yes, I backed it up. You may ask, do you know where that backup is? And I will say, no, I don't know where that backup is. It's the first, actually, it was the first modern computer that I built with modern components. Before this, I haven't built a computer since. Must have been about. Yeah, 2002 or something like this was the last time I built one. 2002 until now. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I need a drink. 2002 until now, uh, things have changed a lot. <laughs> so, there's more available, there's different stuff available, and I do not want to destroy this. Okay, yeah, I remember when I first got the graphics card, I got a better one than this. Oh, it's musical! I can create music! Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Moments of madness. <laughs> okay, let's get these stupid ridiculous strips away. Because they're pe Okay, I just broke them. Whoa! Do you know the you know what? These once upon a time were flexible. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, okay. These were used to be flexible. 
there's so much this you know when this is on the whole thing gets hot because I obviously I do a lot of editing and stuff and I think these have just been destroyed by the heat and there's no way of reusing them because as you can see just slightly try to bend it and it bends and proves me wrong <laughs> okay it proves me wrong when I'm trying to show you and demonstrate okay that just broke and I didn't do much to it yeah as you can see it's very it's just yeah <laughs> You see, I got used to the Mac system and I wanted to get, you know, another um, Macintosh system. But, okay, I like Apple products in the sense of the MacBook Pro was built amazingly well. Good hardware in it, everything. But I don't like Apple. I just, I'm sorry, but I do not like Apple. The way the company is actually creating this huge fan base and I mean the software is good it's Unix based I like that the OS X is Unix based and I'm starting to really like recent in recent times sorry I'm starting to really like um, using Ubuntu which is installed on my laptop and that's how I'm recording my sound at the moment with Ubuntu as I was saying I do not want to pay stupid premium price and get a, a Mac, um, a Mac Pro, or a, you know, an iMac, because okay, they're nice, they've got good displays, everything, but they're too expensive. I'm sorry, but I, it's too much. I can build a PC, or I can build a computer. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm unscrewing a freaking screw which doesn't exist. I thought it was a <laughs> bracket, so I'm like, there's like a screw there with like a round thing, and I'm just going, Ooh. but okay, it's awkward filming this and doing it. If I, I would have probably been done quicker if I wasn't filming this. <clears throat> but just for filming this, it's, it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. You're making me take longer. Okay. First time I tried Hackintosh and it was all on my own and it was scary. And hey, this is my second Hackintosh build. I've got a better graphics card. I've got a better motherboard. Which I can put more RAM in. Where are you for the screw? The problematic screw that runs away. Here you are. Okay, so. Da -da 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 -da. That was easy these stupid wires. Let's sort them out. I want this to be a modular power supply. Why <laughs> don't you a modular power supply, dude? Come on, dude. Will you just, like, modularize as I'm speaking? <laughs> That'll be freaky, actually. <laughs> okay. This goes here. Let's make it low profile as possible. That's the CP power, so let's group this with this. Okay, they need to be stuck together. Let's group this with that. Do you know what? What I'm going to do is bring you guys down closer. Okay, so basically what I'm doing now is being very silly. Now chill, Maddie, chill, chill, chill is okay this is the pc sorry the cpu power and the cpu power is here there's a convenient little window here which i can feed this from underneath but there's a big massive power supply stopping me so i've just kind of undone the motherboard tray and i'm trying to poke this through here now okay. that's the video that i'm doing for you guys hopefully will be edited oh come on squeeze through Yes! Okay. Well, hopefully all be edited on this very computer that I'm building. Because this is all I have to edit with. So, I gotta make it work, don't I? And if you see this video, that means this build works a success. <laughs> because I used this. Can you guys even see this? 
I'm hoping the lighting is good because the sun has actually gone down. Oh, it's going down. It's not facing my window anymore, unfortunately. But it is, but it's just the other side of the room. And I've only got this lamp. Ah, oh, that's an idea. I'll get the other lamp so you can see better. And that's fine. That's perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. Do you know what's going to be the problem? Installing the water cooling. Okay, I need to unscrew this motherboard. <laughs> oh god. Actually, it's okay. It's okay. Because all they need to do is install the back plate for the water cooling. And once I install the back plate, then I can put the motherboard down and chill out. It's a good job this is a modular, a fully modular case. Because if you do a boo boo, like I've just done now, it makes things easier to fix. So yeah, this is a review on this case and the unboxing of many other things. And this is my water cooler. H100i GTX. And that's got nothing to do with the graphics cards. And silly muddy, silly muddy, silly muddy. Did not put her anti-static strap on. Okay, I'm going to unbox this, so what I will do is... Okay, so unboxing. You want my moo cow freaking cow knife? There you go, look at my cow knife. Set it tiny so it doesn't cut anything that it shouldn't. And this is the first time I have touched a water cooler. So, I am kind of a somewhat nervous. So here I record the gorgeous sunset just outside my window. And... Yeah. Right, so... Now I've managed to find the... I unboxed the um, the water cooler. This radiator is huge. And um, yeah, I can, I'm can. i not going to install it now. I'm going to install it later on. And yes, it's got the thermal paste, thank goodness. Um, but I managed to find the back plate of it. Um, where is it gone? There it is. The back plate of this thing. And... Uh, and uh, I'm going to install that now, but I had a bit of an accident. <laughs> um, just reaching over for something. I'm really badly scraped my hand. So there you go, in all its glory. <laughs> so I'm going to have to kind of, you know, um, put something on that before it kind of smears everything in red. I know, and I like red, but not in this, not in this unorganized, smeared way. <laughs> and I cannot find... Okay, I don't know why my audio is being so stupidly funny for some, for some reason. Right, okay. So I had some issues with my audio recorder. It's the USB recorder. <clears throat> and through the microphones it kept making some low frequency rumbling sounds. And... Ow! Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, I managed to sort it out now. So I apologize for any <clears throat> weird rumbling sounds that you may hear, you know, in the video. Um, I had no idea what the problem was. Okay, anyway. So I have that there. Ooh. Stop picking on the fans. Okay, so let's put this part in. I need three hands right now. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Okay, so you need to push this inwards to fit the socket. Okay, that's in. Uh, 
Okay, perfect. I'll put the other things in. The bolts. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry for my voice. I um, sound really yucky right now. I seem to be suffering from a dry throat. I'm not used to talking this much, that's why. <laughs> okay. You're not helping Mr. Wire. Okay. Now let's tilt this on the side, something I do not like to do. Because I don't want to put too much pressure on these two things. Hold it. Oh, this looks nice. Why do they still make PS2 ports? I don't understand that. Aren't, aren't um, keyboards and mice fully USB now? I mean, the oldest keyboard I have on my dad's computer actually has, and this is from way back, this is from like year 2000, 2001 or something. And that, even that's got like, you know, PS2 and USB it gives you a choice. Right, so we have the backlets, the backlit now installed. Now we can just continue wiring this up. I hate pushing this down because I hate it when the motherboard is bending. <laughs> That's not good. And I'm so glad this has space for these um, things. Okay, that's good. We can take this to the other side. Oh, that's why it's possible. Okay, that is for my graphics card, which I'll be unboxing a little later. Oh, very soon, hopefully. Okay, so my S88, I will just need one of these. I could just like chop all the rest of them off. <laughs> okay, something is pulling. This is not good. Let's take this back in and wind it through. Oh no, wait, hold on. It's not this, it's this. So let's take this. Another thing I hate about zip ties is that they freaking vanish on you and disappear completely. Where did it go? Optical drive. Now I need just those two screws and that's it. And okay, so I've just found out that I'm going to need a mini SATA power to Molex adapter because none exist on this. I mean, for goodness sake, they've got floppy drive adapter, the floppy drive power, but not the mini SATA power. Which is what I freaking need on this thing. So I will have to order a, a part for that, a cable adapter for that. So for now we cannot have optical drive, which is okay. This is taking quite longer than I thought. <laughs> because this took me a few hours and this is because, not because of any of this, it's just there's so many interruptions. I've had so many and um, I've had to like stop and go there, stop and go here, take a break. Da -da 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 -da. So it's just, I want to get this over and done with and start installing Hackintosh because that's a nervous area <laughs> because this is, I've installed Hackintosh with um, gigabyte boards before, but I'm not installed Hackintosh with these with um, an ASUS board. External backup drive is now becoming an internal backup drive. It's a time machine drive. <coughs> that is a tight fit. Okay. Now it's your job. Okay, 
and second hard drive. Fantastic. Mm. Even though I'm taking stupidly long about this, I will still say that this is much more easier and much more friendlier to install. There's my SSD. Okay, my SSD's here. The adapter for the optical drive, except for the adaptical, the adapter, the adaptical, the adapter for the optical drive. Um, everything else is fantastic in this case. Okay, fantastic. Rubber mounts, reduction of vibration. Just what I need. Okay. Power is connected to all three drives. Good. Let's go over there. No. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Okay, that's good. Uh, install the data cables before I screw this back on because I don't want to have to go. <laughs> Have I just twisted this? No, I haven't. That's fine. Right. The labels come in handy. Thank you very much, Asus, for doing this. Okay. Okay, all properly connected. Fantastic. I love this. It just slides into place. Perfectly well. I guess that's there are a lot of SCDA. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the next one will be on the top. Shall I bite the bullet and install the um, water cooling system now? 